Hey guys, thank you so much for clicking on this video. Um, here I am bringing to you today one of my most requested looks on my Instagram. Um, it's this, I guess, this typical Instagram baddie sort of look that you see on your explore everywhere. But still, people requested it, so here it is. I think it will be quite popular this year for prom and stuff. So um, I hope I've made it easy for you and I hope you enjoy it. So I've just started with the Pro Long Wear Concealer in NC20, which is my all-time favourite, just to prime my eyes and then setting that with any loose powder or any pressed powder just to mattify the lid. And then I'm going in with Shy from the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette and that's the only palette that I'll be using for today. So I'm just going to take the shade Bossy and I'm going to try and seamlessly blend that into my crease and make sure that it blends well with my transition colour. So clearly, um, with the appearance of Sellotape randomly, I give away the fact that I didn't really plan this video, I was sort of just going along with it. Um, it was the first time that I was really experimenting with the palette, so um, yeah, I, this was totally random. But yeah, I decided that I was going to go for a clean cut. So with the help of the Sellotape, I'm taking black truffle and laying the pigment right on top of the sellotape um, on the outer wing, on the outer corner, and this really helps to um, concentrate that pigment right where it needs to be, so it will create this sort of faded um, eyeliner effect, which I think is really lovely, especially for prom, it's quite dramatic, but it still has something quite sultry to it because it's very lovely and blended. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm being very careful because you can go wrong with this, so make sure you keep sort of opening your eye. Um, every time you add some of the black because it, it can end up, you know, looking like a very bad wing. And if you mess it up at this rate, then, you know, all the previous blending will sort of go to waste. <laughs> Next I'm taking the Rose Gold Pressed Pigment. These are quite hard to work with, um, if I'm going to be totally honest. Um, I find them quite thick, um, but, you know, one thing that I have found after playing with them for a while is that if you sort of um, melt them between your fingers before you apply it to the lid, it helps quite a lot. So as this video is quite technical, it's not technical but there's a lot of steps to it, I decided to skip the eyelash application as well as the eyebrow routine. I have no idea what this brush is for you guys, like can somebody please tell me why it's shaped like that? It just came in a set and I have no idea why it's shaped like that, but it does make for a good sort of mixing brush I guess. So yeah, I alternate between a sponge and a um, big kabuki brush when I'm applying uh, the Kat Von D foundation, just since it's so thick, so I really like to make sure I've really blended it in. Um, there's nothing I hate more than cakey foundation. Um, even though sometimes you can't help it. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, so I've also mixed the Pro Long Wear Concealer with the Kat Von D Concealer. Um, just because the Kat Von D Concealer that I have almost has like this green pigment to it and I don't know why. Um, maybe it's too light for me or something. But either way, I do love the coverage, so that's why I mixed it with the Pro Long Wear. It all looks a bit crazy right now, but I, I promise. I mean, if you're watching this, you're probably used to tutorials and you know that they all fall into place later on and end up looking normal, somewhat. Next up, I'm taking the Soleil Tan de Chanel. Um, it's my only cream bronzer that I own, but to be honest, it's so amazing that I don't feel like ever trying another one. I also use it to lightly contour. Even though it's not a very ashy shade, I can't say that it's um, too warm for contouring your nose and stuff. And I don't really contour it that much anyway, since my nose is like a potato and cannot be contoured. But um, yeah, I'm using the Tarte um, double-ended foundation brush that comes with the foundation to blend that in. 
Shu me mire ra yo te A pro over se mu kena go Vogel nu kena mo Peche tram po Nu ka por mu tjera mo A e mshur si per andor Pa den do në kena andor Ja ma gua te pa mo A fer te më mba Se una jo nuk e prita Pa tu jo nuk kam shkon dita And now using a damp beauty blender I've just picked up the RCMA no colour powder and I'm just um, packing that underneath my eyes and um, in the corners of my nose just to uh, prevent any creasing and to set the foundation and concealer where it normally tends to move. After some dancing to um, pass time as the baking was happening, I am taking a big fluffy brush and just dusting away all the excess powder. So to warm up the um, skin even more, I'm taking the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish um, in medium deep. So before I begin to um, apply mascara to my lower lashes, I'm just taking the shade Shy from the Huda Beauty palette and I'm just blending that in and um, sort of buffing it and making it really seamless and um, blended. This really helps make the eye look pop and it sort of breaks down that sort of sharpness of the liner that we created beforehand, which I really like. <laughs> So to add a little more drama, I've just taken the shade Bossy as well and I'm just adding that um, to sort of deepen that lower lash line even more and to make it pop. So for highlighter, um, this isn't actually my favourite highlighter, this has to be one of my most dramatic ones. It's definitely not a day to day one because it's just so intense, but for prom I think it's more than appropriate. Um, this is the Solstice sleek palette, highlighter palette, and I'm just using a mixture of all of the um, three powder ones, not the cream one, just the three powder ones, and I'm adding that to basically every single part of my face, which I could do all day long. Um, I love the chin highlight, I don't know why, I'm really getting into that, um, it just really sets off the nose as well, <laughs> so strange, but yeah, I love it, I love, love, love the way that this highlighter came out with this look. And of course, not forgetting the brow bone as well. Taking the Maybelline uh, gel liner, I'm taking that into my waterline and I love how, as well as it being intense and um, sort of staying where you put it, if you work really quickly with it, you can really work well with blending it out as well, which I love. It really gives that sort of Arabian sultry look. And I, I really, really love this product. This is the Essence Lip Liner. Um, it's their nudist one, I believe. Um, and then I'm taking the Huda Beauty um, Mini Lip Mattes, uh, Liquid Mattes. Uh, sorry, and I'm taking, I was sort of doing an eeny meeny miny moe, I just never know which shade to go with, but I decided to go with Bombshell this time. Um, Venus is more on the brownie nudie side, whereas Bombshell is literally the most perfect nude, um, pinky nude, and I'm just obsessed with this formula. This blows Kylie Cosmetics out of the water easily, like... I honestly, I've probably tried on my Kylie one about three times maximum. I can't wear that one, um, but the Huda Beauty ones are actually perfection.
Thank you so much for watching you guys and I know I say this in every video um, but I am going to try and be a lot more consistent on my page and on my um, YouTube channel but thank you so much for watching this and I really hope you enjoyed it. Salad, salad, yeah, 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 y